and welcome. I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. And this is part five of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Adobe Photoshop Elements. Uh, in this particular session we're going to talk about scanning. Now scanning is a little unusual as a technique with Photoshop Elements because technically you're not using Photoshop Elements to do your scanning. It's actually the scanner software that's doing it. However, you're operating the scanner software from within Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to show you how to access that. Uh, your scanning software may vary a little bit from this, but the techniques are basically the same. And then as a bonus, I'm going to show you a more advanced kind of cool feature that's in Photoshop Elements. So the way you access your scanner is you go to the file menu and you select import and there should be your scanner. Usually when you install Adobe Photoshop Elements it will automatically pick up your scanner and add it here to the software. So it's kind of linked to it as a plug-in. Now I have an Epson scanner so it's going to launch my Epson scanner software. Here it is. Now like I say your scanner software may vary a little bit but basically you have uh, the same sort of settings in all of them and that is you can select whether or not it's going to be in color or in black and white you can select whether it's reflective some scanners have the ability to shine through a transparency or a piece of film or a negative and scan that way um, there are a lot of things here resolution uh, unsharp masking descreening I go through all of these in my books and I go into detail what they all mean basically you are setting it up and your main concern is whether or not it's color and what your resolution is I like to use a high resolution and then res down the photos once I'm actually editing them there are two parts to scanning usually a preview and a scan and a preview will just basically show you what's on the scanning table so let's click preview and here my scanner is showing me what's on the scanning table. Now there's no need for me to scan everything on the table, uh, but I do want to scan my photos. Now you notice my photos are crooked. Normally you try to make your photos a little straighter than I have them positioned on here. I'm going to use this, however, to show you a cool trick. So I'm expanding the dotted line here, my marching ants, my selection area. This is the area that will actually be scanned at the resolution that I have set in my scanning setup here, which in this case is a 300 dpi resolution. Now I click scan. It's going to give me a high resolution scan. Should take just a couple of minutes. Depending on the speed of your scanner and the speed of your computer, it could take a couple of minutes. Okay, I now have a scanned version of this picture. It's out here in my editor workspace in Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to close my scanner software now, clicking the close button. And now these are the photos that have been scanned into my Photoshop Elements program. In the past, you used to have to cut and paste each of these pictures and put them into separate documents. But Photoshop Elements comes complete with a really cool little feature called Divide Scanned Photos. Now what's very cool about this feature is that not only is it going to divide the photos, but it's going to automatically straighten them out too. Isn't that a cool thing? This tool is located under the image drop down in the menu bar. Divide scanned photos. Now watch how quick and easy this is. I click it and it took my scatter photos and turned them into individual photos. That's the basics of scanning. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll stay with me for the whole eight part series. For details on any of these tools, be sure to check out the Movie Pix guides to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. And be sure to check out the hundreds of tutorials and tips and uh, media clips that we have here at MoviePix.com. It's a great site for supporting you whether you're using Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements. And we're glad to have you aboard. I'm Steve Grisetti. We'll see you again real soon.